Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwash. I welcome you all in my channel, Chemistry to Mystery of Molecules. So today we are going to learn a very interesting topic that is about imidazole. Is it acidic or basic or is it electrophilic or nucleophilic? Okay, so this is very interesting. Let's start. So before going to details, just learn. Acidic means generally it's thing here proton based acidity or basic means the proton abstraction thing. Now, since imidazole, if you look at the structure, it has an NH, although it has CH, we will discuss if can, so generally I was at, is this NH bond acidic? So this, is it acidic? Now you can say that is uh, CH bond could be acidic possible, but I will come at the end, very special thing. But in this case, this NH, because nitrogen is more electronegative atom. So, now, is it acidic? Obviously, yes. Why? Because, see, this thing is actually lone pair and actually it's a 6 pi, 5 means 5 member aromatic ring because 6 pi electron. So, after proton deprotonation, this minus, okay, this can be stabilized by resonance. How? Actually, this minus means here 2 lone pair, okay. One was previously there and one lone pair generated by the abstraction of this proton. So what it can produce? So the lone pair can come here, it can go there. So in this way, another canonical form possible. And this thing is called equivalent canonical structures. So in this way you can say this imidazole is mild acidic. So I should say it's a mild acidic and mild acidic means I'm not give, I shall not give you any data because it's confusing. Uh, so it's a, now near about 14, so leave it. Actually, this is, remember, more acidic than alcohol, less acidic than phenol. Okay, in between alcohol and phenol. Fine. This is, so imidazole is acidic, obviously acidic because of this proton. Second thing, is it basic? Obviously basic. Why it is basic? Because if you look at the structure of this imidazole, this is, so this is NH this. Now base means it needs to have a lone pair generally. So what it does, so in presence of anything it will abstract. By the way, remember if you keep imidazole in water, it produces a mildly alkaline solution. Mild alkaline solution. It means it can abstract proton. It, okay. And what happens after abstraction of proton, what it produces? It produces this one proton here and this. Okay, so in this way you can see this is the positive charge. Now, like the previous, here also delocalization or resonance possible. How? There is one lone pair here, it can come here and it can withdraw. So, what it will result? It will result again this. So double bond here, NH here. Now, how I am putting the positive charge? Look at nitrogen valency is 3. And where the valency of nitrogen I am observing 4, I am putting the positive charge. See here, nitrogen is attached to 4 bond. 1 with hydrogen, 2, 3 and 4, so positive charge. Now, after this delocalization, this nitrogen form 4 bond, 1, 2, 3, 4. And here, this nitrogen has 3, so positive charge. So this is also an equivalent canonical form. So that's why this is also a mild base. Now, question, we have understood acidic or basic, electrophilic or neutroph nucleophilic. Electrophilic means electron loving. So electron loving. So who loves electron? The, part, the molecule is deficient of electron that loves electron. So question is imidazole electron deficient? No, it is not electron deficient. Why? Because this imidazole thing you can con consider it's a combination of both pyrrole and pyridine. Why I am saying? Just first let me draw it. It's pyrrole means, okay, by the way, I have already discussed about these heterocycles. If you want to learn, you may visit. And this is pyridine. So, in this case, five, this pyrrole is electron rich because 6 pi electron over 5 carbon. Fine. Pyridine because nitrogen is more electronegative, that's why pyridine is electron deficient. If you look closely at this thing, this is a combination of both. So, actually, they are not electron deficient, they are not electron rich. So, in this way, they are not electrophilic or nucleophilic. Okay. But if you give proper condition, it may react. Fine. Second thing, that... As I told that is it nucleophilic? Yes, it nucleophilic. But 
in order to understand nucleophilic character let replace this hydrogen with another R group okay and give it methyl iodide because we know methyl iodide is a very famous electrophilic reagent so what happens this nitrogen lone pair attacks this like pyridine this pyridine lone pair sp2 hybridized orbital can act as a nucleophile or very similarly it can act as a nucleophile and what it produces it produces this are uh, this is nch3 and in this case plus charge it has canonical form i am not going and this is see it's a like a ionic compound salt type so that's why this thing and generally they are not solid means majority of cases depending on substitution they could be solid liquid actually they have a common name they called ionic liquid okay so organic difference is com common salt compared to if the difference between common salt and this is that common salt like sodium chloride both cation is inorganic anion or sodium iodide this is both are inorganic uh, in this case one part is organic cationic part this part is inorganic fine now as i told that is it possible that this is acidic yes in this case when the nitrogen nh is absent that time this can produce acid this can display acidity question why it can show acidity this is because see two electronegative atom nitrogen atom adjacent point number 1 second after there is one positive charge also so that makes themselves acidic and in presence of base like acetate these are mild base so they undergo deprotonation and produces a very unique molecule it's a very interesting molecule student so that is r this this so in this way you can say here nitrogen have the positive and this here have the negative this is called carbene i have already discussed some lectures so this is actually a singlet carbene because this lone pair is in the sp2 hybridized orbital and it can act as a ligand okay so this is the overall discussion of imidazole conclusion imidazole can act as an acidic can act as an basic so that's why they call amphoteric so both property are there because of their unique functionalities they are not electron deficient but they can act as electrophile if you proper condition give means drastic condition there's a different issue we'll not discuss but it can act as a nucleophile also if you give any electrophilic reagent and produces ionic liquid so this is the overall discussion thanks for watching see you in my next video